Okay, so the next problem we're looking at is a tan problem. Y equals tan x minus pi over 2 minus 1. So, again, we want to keep the parent function in mind. The parent function has no uh, amplitude. Uh, it has a period. Um, it has asymptotes. It's an odd function, so it means it goes through, through the origin. And it basically looks like that. A little more less like. So uh, it goes through, you know, at pi over 4, it hits 1. So tangent is 1 at pi over 4, and also at negative pi over 4. You know, 45 degrees and at negative 45 degrees, it's negative 1. That's our parent tan, tan function. And then it, at pi over 2, it has an asymptote, and at negative pi over 2. And then it repeats. And that repeats again and again, so over here it's going to do the same thing. It, says it has a period of pi, so pi over 4 plus pi is 5 pi over 4. 5 pi over 4 is where you get that, that 1 to show up again. Pi over 2, or the, the 0 plus pi, this is going to be pi. Pi over 4 plus pi is 5 pi. Negative pi over 4 plus pi is 3 pi over 4. You've got the negative 1. 5 pi over 4, you've got the positive 1. And I'm off the screen. Killing me. Five pi over four, you got the positive one, and then three pi over two or six pi over four, you got the next asymptote. So it repeats. That's the tan function. So that's what I'm translating with H and K here. So that graph is going to move to the it says negative, but that means I'm going to move to the right. So I'm going to move that to the right by pi over 2, and I'm moving down 1. Okay, so now, moving down 1, I'm going to make the axis a little higher than I would otherwise. So my 0 is going to be at pi over 2, which used to be my asymptote. And since my period is still pi, um, here my period was pi, but my asymptotes were pi over 2 and negative pi over 2. So now basically that whole thing, that whole situation, is moving that much. So now my asymptotes are at 0 and pi. So my asymptotes will be here, here, and my 0 will be here. But it won't be a 0, will it? It will be a negative 1. So the midline of a tan function is 0, but it moves down to negative 1. So negative 1 is my new 0. And then, you know, after pi over 4, it'll be up to 1, up to 0. And negative pi over 4. So pi over 2 is where the function, the tan value is 0. However, then I minus 1 and get negative 1. If I, so move pi over 4 radians in a positive direction, tan goes from 0 to 1. But subtracting 1 from both those values, really it's going from negative 1 to 0. That should be more of a curve in the line. And then after, after I go even further past pi over 4 to like 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 4, as this gets closer and closer to pi, the tan value gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And I have an asymptote. As it gets less, pi over 4 less than pi over 2 is pi over 4. Pi over 4 more than pi over 2 is 3 pi over 4. And why is that? Because pi over 2 is equal to 2 pi over 4. So pi over 4 less, pi over 4, pi over 4 more is 3 pi over 4. We're just speaking in fractions. So now, from this that used to be the 0, if I go down pi over 4 radians, 
my tangent value, which here it's zero, here it's going to be negative one, which really is negative two. So I'll flip this around here and it'll go down like that. Hit negative, hit that negative two, one less than negative one, and then start really curving down. Um, so there's more S action going on here than what I drew, but uh, that's essentially the graph that you want to have. I'm speechless now, I've got nothing else to say. <laughs>